I don't know about you, but I tend to misplace things pretty easily, especially when it's dark and I can't see what I'm looking for. Time for a solution. You may have seen in one of my earlier laser videos that I built an AR-15. This shoots five, five, six size cartridges, and that's what I'll be using for this project. Of course, it's going to be an empty shell, which I also buffed up to a nice shine using my wire wheel. Now I need to cut two windows in this shell, so out to the garage, where I used a sander attached to my drill. After sanding away for a while, I was able to make two windows, which are oval shaped. I also used some sandpaper to take off any burrs and to make it smooth. I'm also going to be using a piece of vinyl tubing, which has a small enough diameter to fit snugly in inside the bullet end of the shell. So after inserting that to the base and leaving a little bit exposed, I used a pair of scissors to cut some off the top. Now it's time to gather up a few more things that we're gonna need for this project. The main ingredient, some ultra green V10 glow in the dark powder. This is the brightest glow-in-the-dark powder in the world, which will glow and continue to be visible even after 24 hours, which is more than one night. I'm using some two-part five-minute epoxy, which hardens pretty quickly. You could use any kind of epoxy for this, and it'll work fine. Okay, it's time to get to work, so pouring out equal amounts of the epoxy and stirring it up. Then after adding a liberal amount of glow-in-the-dark powder, I continued to stir. Then I picked up from the drugstore a small plastic medicine syringe. I loaded the syringe with my glowing epoxy, then inserted that and filled up the vinyl tube inside the cartridge. After it was completely full, I used a scissor and trimmed the excess vinyl tubing. Now it's time for a small brass screw eye. This is what we'll use to attach our glowing fob to whatever it is we're trying to see in the dark. And that just gets inserted in the vinyl tubing at the top of our glow fob. The glow-in-the-dark powder is already starting to glow, and I also added a couple of O-rings to the glow fob just to make it look cool. This homemade glow fob is really bright, and it's going to help me find things in the middle of the night. Now what would you attach the glow fob to? Before I go, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about my friends at Harry's. Now, you might not know these guys, but they are revolutionizing the shaving industry by focusing on providing guys a great shaving experience for a fraction of the price of those big razor companies. Their razors have a really slick and clean design with high-quality, sharp blades engineered by their own German factory. And the best part, they're half the price of their competitors like Gillette. Now, I tried them, and they are great. You order them online, and they're shipped to your door. Harry's is offering my fans $5 off your first purchase, so support my show and head over to harrys.com and check out their awesome shaving experience. Don't forget to use the promo code KIPK to save $5 on your first purchase. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.